Minstrel. Minstrel, are you there? showed that you understood my plight. I must trust you, for I need help desperately. And I return that trust. I am not a minstrel. I'm Ivanhoe of Rutherwood. I have heard of you and your brave deeds. Sir William is marrying me only because he wants the land and the money I inherit. Sir William seems to have an insatiable appetite for gold. Can you help me? From a lot, sir. This will unlock. find a boy who was kidnapped. A boy? I have not seen one. Well, have you seen or heard anything unusual? Well, yes. Strange things do go on in this castle. Sinister men in outlandish clothes often call here at night. Anything else? Think, my lady. It's important. Sometimes I've heard cries and rattling of chains. Maybe there are prisoners in the cavern. The cavern? Where is it? Somewhere below these dungeons, I believe. I must go before I'm missed by Sir William. Thank you again, my lady, for your return. That I pray for, Sir I know. Satisfied with this month's merchandise? Hmm. A scrawny lot. And what can I do with that one over there? Tell me. Whip him enough, he'll make a good houseboy. He'll fetch a fine price in the slave markets of Cordova. Hmm. Mayhap. But Sir William's price must show us a profit. The sea journey is expensive to these cold shores. The price is fixed at 150 gold marks for each boy. As for that one, say 50. <laughs> 50 for that one. You must be mad. And as for these boys over here, why, I wouldn't bother to take them aboard. You spend good food and money keeping them alive, and like as not, they die on your hands. The boy's too thin. Well, feed him, then. A hundred gold marks. A hundred and fifty is the price we fixed. Too much, Captain. I'm not a poor man. Sorry, sir. Oh, well, thank heavens you're safe. Well, I followed the sailor and the moors into that tunnel. I was looking for the hidden entrance. Yes, well, we've no time to lose. There'll be an alarm as soon as they miss Bart. We must surprise them and strike first. I am ready, sir. Bart must go to Sir Thomas and his men and leave them here. Right. Now, follow this path straight led until they come to a spade oak tree. We're still three times and then they'll find you. We'll leave the entrance door ajar. Bring them swiftly, lad. Yes, sir. Come on, go. William bleeds us dry, Captain. Here are 1,000 gold marks. The rest when these boys are aboard our ship. We will be ready at nightfall. We're ready now! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I repeat, my lord, I refuse to marry you. You have no choice, my lady. And that's an end to it. My lord, Prince John and his retinue approach the courtyard. Good. We are ready. You will also greet His Highness, Lady Agnes. You would do well to look more pleased, my lady, do you hear? I command it. You're in no position to command anything, Sir William. The minstrel? No. Ivanhoe of Rutherwood. Slave trader. Arrest him! Sir William. I yield, Ivanhoe. Call up your dogs. Fall back and put up your arms. Sir Ivanhoe of Rotherwood, is this yet another of your lawless escapades? He forced his way in, Your Majesty. He has wounded my men and intends to rob me. I demand his imprisonment. Put up your sword, Sir Ivanhoe. You are constantly looking for trouble in this realm. No, sire, I seek only justice for others. It is true, Your Highness, Sir William intended to... Enough, Lady Agnes. We saw and judged for ourselves. I think it is time we taught Sir Ivanhoe a lesson. Well, what is the meaning of this? I accuse Sir William of Belford, and I charge him with kidnapping these young boys and selling them as slaves in the Moorish slave markets. It's lies, Your Highness. All lies. These are grave charges, Sir Thomas. If true, Your Highness, they should merit trial by ordeal to death. Have you any proof, Sir Thomas? Here is your evidence, Your Highness. And there are several more in the dungeons below. It's a conspiracy to disgrace me. I have lost peasants, too. He purposely had some of his own people disappear to divert suspicion. That's right, Your Highness. I was one of Sir William's serfs. He was going to sell me, too. Sir William's hired mercenaries have been kidnapping and selling use for the slave markets of Cordoba. He has terrorized the countryside with tales of witches spiriting them away. His captain has confessed. Don't believe them, Your Highness. I... Sir Ivanhoe, you have often spread false reports about my justice in this land. False reports? You have said that I do not uphold the law in the absence of my brother, King Richard. To prove you false, I command Sir William, who is known to be loyal to me, to answer these charges before the court at Westminster. Thank you, sir. I shall spread different tidings about you now. And you will admit to all that I meet our justice without favor? No, sire. I shall advertise the news of Sir William's forthcoming trial so that the people may see your justice dispensed. Lady Agnes. Come, Sir Thomas. We are finished here. You stupid, greedy, bungling fool! But, sire, Sir Ivanhoe, you know what is in our hearts. And that I treasure. Farewell, old friend. Farewell, my lady. God speed you, my lord. Sir Thomas will look after you now, Lady Agnes. How can I ever thank you? No thanks needed, my lady.
is fighting to win. 